What's up everybody, Dark Cosmic here, back with another astrology video. I wanna talk about moon in the third house. So this is a similar placement to moon in Gemini. So what happens when you take your emotional self and you place it into the house of your surroundings, the house of your neighborhood, the house of your siblings, communication and writing. So basically this makes an individual that enjoys to react to communication. They enjoy to react to the arts and they love to have conversations with their siblings for the most part. So um, to me, this makes a person emotionally, they're, they're logical, emotionally, they're very, they're, um, they're not the type to overreact to things, but they're, they're logical, but immature at times and can be superficial as well. Um, what nourishes them sometimes can be, <laughs> for lack of a better comparison, memes on social media and constant social media banter that's meaningless, like posting things about Nate Robinson getting knocked out and communicating about that. This is what Moon and Gemini finds emotioning. The higher level Gemini will find it to be nourishing to be communicating about just what's basically happening happening around in their city. Oh, you heard about this news, or you heard about that news. Um, communicating about writing, communicating about, oh, this spells a beautiful poem. Communicating about the arts in general. That'll be like the higher functioning Gemini, but a lot of them, they just like to post memes and joke about it and communicate off the surface level type of stuff. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's like a, they are the masters at communication, surface level com communication. And because of that, because they don't always go too deep with things, they have the ability to talk to a lot of people because they don't make people uncomfortable with the topics that they're bringing up. So Moon and Gemini, for the most part, they're really good at talking to people. They're salesmen. They're really good at presenting things in a way that everybody will like it and it's appealing to everybody because they are not triggering people like a Sagittarius would. A Sagittarius might become preachy and start triggering people, even a Scorpio, too deep. But um, yeah, I would say Moon, the, and the way that you react as well is in a logical, communicative way. So, something happens to you, you want to talk about it. You don't want to re you don't want to emotionally express yourself. You just want to have a long conversation about it but it's not a long conversation that's really deep it's just a factual and fun light-hearted conversation but it's long or you just try to communicate with a variety of people about said subject so you can get all these different ideas and perspectives on the topic on what you had received so this is my perspective on moon and gemini hope you guys enjoyed it